Hello everyone and welcome back to Starbound. My name is Techorsa and today we're going to continue on with our Victorian Gothic style town. And the first thing I need to note is I have very little room. So I wanted this to be the outer edge of the bill where it starts turning into regular dirt and grass. But as you can see, here is the one buttress of the uh, the cathedral in the middle. This cathedral is huge. It's much bigger than I anticipated. And if we go to the other side of it... There we go. Not much room. I can go out as far as about here. Just because I don't want to start getting into this weird alien biome. Oh, I already emptied that. But anyway, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to get some houses built. And yeah, we're just going to see where we can go from there. Um, I don't have much room on this side. I think I could eke out more room on the other side, but... I think what I can do is just demolish a lot of this and did like I did in the terraforming portion of last episode where I just kind of put the um, frozen dirt and snow sort of like in a mixed layer. I think I can do that and squeeze out some more room from this direction. But anyways. I think that's going to be the main problem in this episode. We'll find a way around it though. We always do. But all that being said, let's get started. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. And the first thing I want to say is thank you to everyone for all of your patience and support. Um, but yeah, let's get started talking about the build. So uh, first off, what I do right off the bat is put a little bit of a marker in front of the cathedral. It feels kind of like that should be a sort of a buffer area between the cathedral and the houses. Which, by the way, I did a good amount of research on what the Victorian Gothic houses looked like. And yeah, I mean, I think I got the design down pretty good. I can't get quite as extravagant as I would like with them, but there's one commonality between all of them that I have to include in the builds. They all have a little round tower in the house. No exceptions. Well, I guess there are some exceptions. But regardless, all of the, um, I guess I could call them like higher class houses all had little like turret style towers in them um see this first build has one of the more stranger ones that i saw that had a tower and then it came up to a um peak that looked like kind of like a um a gazebo i guess you could call it like the top of a gazebo i don't know it was kind of strange and i liked it so i kind of sketched it and figured out how I was going to build it in game. It came out pretty well. I really like this one. And as I was talking about in the intro, I ended up needing a lot more space. So yeah, because one house took up all of the space that I had left and I wanted to make around half a dozen houses at least for this build. It's looking like it's not going to be that many unless I make the houses smaller. Which, you know, all the houses can't be high-class houses. I'm going to have to add in some smaller houses that aren't quite as extravagant. You know, maybe be like single-story houses. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't even finished the other houses that I finished or that I built in this episode. But as I said, all of them do have the little turrets. I decided to add in some containers as sort of a... Uh, like little alleyway storage between the houses. I don't know why I did that. It just felt appropriate. Oh, 
and I think I said it in the last episode, but I'm going to say it again. Building in snow is terrible. Because every couple of minutes, it starts snowing again. And then you get another layer of snow on your build, and you've got to get rid of that. And then you get another layer, and you got to get rid of that. And half the time when you're getting rid of the layer, you're also getting rid of the blocks you put down. Because your matter manipulator is too strong, and it just breaks everything in one hit. So, yeah. That's... Like, the struggle with that is real. <laughs> okay, with this one... Okay, so with this house... I went for a dual... Um, tower design. With sort of a... Grand Hall entrance way. Um, I wish that I could project a little bit more depth into the build so I could make the stairs look like they were spiraling down. But I don't have the room for that, for one. And for two, I'm not sure how that technique would work, to be quite honest. I mean, I could see kind of like having the stairs come down instead of a one to one ratio it'd be like one to two to three to five and then sp spiral it out and then spiral it back down maybe that would work you know that might be something that i'll consider while i'm doing a detail pass all right well that's all the time i have for today um i got a few different houses laid out for the town. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I also put out a little market with the fountain. Hey, I can sit on the fountain. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but, anyways. Um, the houses look really nice. They came out pretty much exactly how I planned, except for that. What is that? No. No, no, no. Um, let me fix that. There we go. That did not fix it. <laughs> there. Now it's fixed. Yeah, go away. But, anyways, that's going to be it for the episode. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I am running a daily Starbound Let's Build series. That being said, if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns, whatever it is, leave it in the comment section down below. And thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.